We have all seen the back and forth, but a new party may be forming in California. It is for those who do not see themselves as a Republican or Democrat, and the group is made up of former leaders from both parties. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics, and Morgan, this group is being called the Forward Party? Yes, and Chris, polls indicate that people want this, a third party. A Gallup poll shows it's about two-thirds of Americans to be exact, but historically, Chris, third parties have not done well. The Forward Party will be co-chaired by former Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang and Republican New Jersey Governor Christine Todd Whitman. The faces of this party have to be pretty heavily weighed uh, and, and evened out. And Christy Todd Whit Whitman has a... Uh, a record as a moderate governor. Political analyst Steve Swat said the party will try to stay away from the most polarizing issues and try to find common grounds on the ones they just can't ignore. A lot of people in this in this country are very concerned about abortion or contraception or guns and things like that. If they can come up with some moderate positions on that that don't alienate both sides, then they have a chance of being somewhat successful. The Forward Party's national director told me they don't ever plan on holding a firm position on issues like guns and abortion, just setting boundaries. Most Americans hold positions that are somewhere in between those extremes. And we think that our candidates and our uh, members of our party should have the freedom to represent the people uh, in their area. In a Gallup poll, 62% of U.S. adults say the parties do such a poor job representing the American people that a third party is needed. To think that only two parties could possibly represent our views is overly simplistic. Mike Madrid is a longtime Republican strategist and a constitutionalist at heart, but he said the party under Trump is something he no longer identifies with. I don't know exactly what the philosophy of this new party um, is suggesting, but I am listening. Both Madrid and Swap believe this party could stand a chance, even though history is not on its side. Look at the year 2000. Ralph Nader ran as a Green Party ticket uh, for president. He siphoned uh, enough votes in Florida away from Al Gore to hand the presidency to George W. Bush. Now, the party says they plan on traveling the country to just talk to people, constituents, before their official launch. And their goal is to get on the ballot in 30 states by 2023, Chris. Mm -hmm. So what about upcoming elections then? They do not have any official candidates in the upcoming November election. However, they do say they plan on supporting a select few people who uphold their values, even if they're not officially part of the party. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is interesting, huh? Let us know where this one goes. Will do. Morgan, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.